It was April 19th, 1775. The Battle of Lexington and the Battle of Concord were underway to begin the American Revolution. Now usually when you have battles, you usually have heroes that fought in those battles. And today I want to talk about one of the heroes of the American Revolution. His name was Samuel, Samuel Whitmore. Now Samuel, whenever uh, he decided that he was going to fight against the British, he stood some say behind a stone wall and as he waited for the British troops to pass until they were directly in front of him, then he took his musket, took aim, and shot and killed one of the British soldiers. At that point, he pulled out his two pistols that he had, and he shot both of them, killing another soldier and wounded another one. At that point, the British started coming towards him. And as he began to draw his confiscated French saber, he was shot in the cheek, making him fall to the ground. Samuel, with sword drawn, was surrounded by British soldiers and they began to bayonet him. Some say six, seven, up to 13 times he was bayoneted. The British soldiers at that time, they left and left Samuel for dead. However, Samuel was taken, looked at by the doctor and the doctor said, looking at his wounds, said there was no hope for Samuel. He had too many wounds and he had been shot and he just recommended that Samuel spend his last hours, days with his family. Miraculously though, Samuel recovered. And what's more interesting is that Samuel lived another 18 years after, after April 19th, 1775 to the ripe old age of 98 when he died. Yes, that's right. When Samuel took on these British troops, he was 80 years old. A hero, most definitely in this time. So thank you for joining me today for this interesting historical fact, and we'll see you next time.